Hey everybody, it's me, Maz, bringing you another video for Ark Survival Evolved, Ark Omega Mod. And today, uh, my, my nice little wolf friend here uh, wants to start his own wolf pack. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let him have a new pup for every like, subscribe, share, and comment that you guys give. So uh, <laughs> he's hoping for all that he can get, you know. <laughs> bow chicka bow wow, you know. <laughs> No, but seriously, so uh, I've been getting questions recently about breeding and the process and how to one stat or two stat dinos or whatever the case might be. So I figured I would give a uh, brief tutorial on breeding. I know that there are several tutorials on breeding out there, but I figured uh, I'd bring my spin to it, give my suggestions, thoughts, and comments on the whole ordeal, and uh, maybe you guys will like it. So uh, let's hope that I can help solve some of your guys' issues and uh, maybe answer some questions. So... Uh, let's get right to it, guys. Alright, guys, here we are. So, uh, I decided to name our little wolf friend here, Carl. So, uh, Carl is going to go ahead and uh, be our main breeder, at least to start. Um, we got them centered around a soul terminal. So, make sure when you first start, go into your options, go into your automation. Make sure you have fertilized egg collection and fertilized egg incubation both selected. The rest of the stuff doesn't matter, at least for breeding. Uh, the next thing you want to do when you go into here, go to your options, go to your newborn auto trap. Uh, I'm going to make it visible just to show you, but the range is automatically set to 15. And if you look here, yeah, you can see the rest of them over here, but you can see that gigantic circle. Uh, it doesn't need to be that big. Um, it could be, if you'd like it to be, but it can also get in the way of grabbing other eggs from somewhere else. So I usually change this to like 7.5 or something like that, give or take. I don't know. See, there you go. It drops the circle tremendously, leaving it so that area over there doesn't get affected by anything. And nothing else outside of the circle will start breeding with each other or whatever the case might be. Um, so now that this is done, what we're going to do is I hit mating on. And I just want to make sure that they all have the little red hearts above them, which they do. So I've got 10 of these ladies out here, and our mod does have the love potion mod. So I put this on them so that I can just go in and feed it to them immediately. Now, what I do is I wait, because I can use these mutators anytime. I think it takes about 6 seconds, so anytime before about 95%. I usually try to do it around 80, 85% way. Uh, that way I can get three breedings done for one radiation. Uh, one, ra uh, yeah, one, <laughs> one mutator radiation. So when you go up to it, it says create mutation pulse, which is just radiation. So we wait here, and of course, you know, this is the longest part. Uh, you know, Carl obviously isn't a one-minute man. You know, he's uh, he's definitely a movie star, if you know what I mean. So this takes a second here for for Carl to finish what he's doing. Oh man, I got jokes for days, guys. Got jokes for days. I mean, he's he's here with ten ladies. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, he's he's obviously doing what he's got to do. All right. Sorry to make you guys wait, but I figured. Uh, I'm not going to do any movie magic here because this is this is how long that it takes. Now, some servers, I believe, do have a you know automatic breeder which you can like put like a potion on them or something, and it just boom insta breed. But you know this one does not. All right, so as we're getting up here, 81% uh, good enough. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do five of these. Each one gives up to two points of mutation. One, two, three, four. Five. Great. So now they're up to that 92%, and they're going to start popping out babies here. Just, uh, just a moment. There we go. You see that motion that he did there? That means that, uh, hey, he's finishing mating. Now, he doesn't do it in any specific order, and the order in which you do this doesn't really matter. But uh, you go in, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, let these guys mate again here. Boom, boom, boom. Go through, go through, go through. Whoop, did that lag? Yep, that one's nice. Yes, it did lag. And as you can see, this process can take a minute. And if you're on our server with the uh, Chaos Gaming Cluster, this is exactly how you'll do it. And if it's not, then you'll have to figure out a way to expedite the process on your own server with your own mods or, or not, if that's the case. Um, I do know that if you get... Uh, breeding dinos in here and you feed them uh, omega eggs it does help 
with breeding and uh, reduce the amount of time between each breeding, but based uh, on your server settings, we'll decide how much or how little. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to go ahead and jump forward in time for you guys, and I'm going to do this three times total, so I'm going to have 30 eggs, so I'll see you back here when I've got 30 eggs in the incubator. Okay, so I'm actually returning slightly early because I did want to give one more mechanic to this stuff. So let's just say that you're breeding some different creatures and you can't uh, get to them all in time or you're running out of time for them to actually lay their eggs. Like this guy here, he's going to be, or she's going to be, at the bitter end. So the irradiated is at 50 seconds and she's at 60%, obviously probably going to make it. But just in case, all you have to do is just have a sixth mutator and you hit the button. It takes about four or five seconds for it to charge and to pulse out so make sure you have enough time and all that it does is uh, rebuff it so now the irradiated is back up to full right around that 300 second mark and you're able to continue going from there but luckily for us I didn't need that but I just showed the mechanic anyways now uh, inside of your soul terminal here once you're done it's going to get these guys down to one percent so I'm going to try to take out all of the one percenters here sometimes this screws up and puts the uh, non one percenters in the spot of the one percenter but this time I didn't have it happen cool now normally you just throw them in front of a uh, air conditioner here like I'm gonna do but I also have a godlike nest so with a godlike nest uh, pretty cool feature you take some eggs and throw in like 50 I think it's like some odd seconds before for each one I don't remember yeah so it looks like almost almost 50-ish seconds, 48, 52, some odd seconds per egg. But now I've got 46 minutes of egg boosting time along with this beautiful world save that wouldn't be a Maz video without it. All right. Anytime now. All right, that should be good. So I'm going to go ahead and throw out these one percenter eggs right next to my nest and right next to my air conditioners. Now, if you look at him, it says two minutes. However, uh, with Nest and his abilities, as long as he's a godlike and you fed him the eggs and he's got the breeding boost on him, he's going to go ahead and be uh, about 20 seconds, give or take, for these guys to pop out. Uh, sometimes it can be a little more, a little bit less, but generally we're going to call it 20 seconds. And there we go, like I said, yeah, just about 20 seconds. Now, as you can see, some of the other ones took a little bit longer. I do believe there's like a loop that gets checked every so often, uh, and then it does it. So, perfect. Now we're going to go through these guys here. Now, again, I do sets of 30. Some people do sets of 40 or 50 or 60. Uh, I'm not going to be that guy. So, what we're checking for here is right here. On the top left where it says the little plus, that's your health, and it has a plus 10 to health, which is basically what we're looking for. Um, but if you notice, I have two different stats. Uh, that plus is 29, that plus is 22. So it's not even worth it to take this guy because we uh, already have other ones that are higher. So we're looking for a 29 plus 10 to health because that's the stat that I have chosen that I want to do today. Uh, these are disruptors. I don't really need them to fight. I just need them to stay alive and to disrupt things. Da, 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 da. Yep, not having much luck. Some of these guys were irradiated, but uh, didn't even have anything. Yeah, like this guy, nothing. Weird. Okay. So then we're going to go over here, and we're going to do the same thing. And this is why breeding can be super difficult and time-consuming. Because now we have to wait again for these eggs to hit 1%. There we go. Just as I'm talking about it. But as you can see, this takes time. And you're looking for very specific stats. I don't ever suggest trying to two-stat a single dino. It's better to have two separate groups, like the group that I have along the left that I've done nothing with. The only reason I haven't is because I'm not trying to confuse you guys. So once again, near the air conditioners, near the nest. It's, you, may, you guys may not have a nest. This guy's going to go a lot quicker for us. Hopefully 20 seconds or less, and then I can start looking at them again. Oh, the junk ones. I do have a little junk spot over here. It's just the way I am. I like to uh, keep them all in a little junk spot so that I can get all of their... I don't think any of these are mine. No, that one's mine. 
so that I can get all of their crystal balls, aka soul, soul balls, whatever. Perfect. Go in again. Check it out. Looking for the pluses. If I can find them. Not having any luck. Jeez. Sometimes this happens, guys. This is just the way of the world. And that's why some people do sets of 40 or 50 or whatever the case is. And honestly, I should have done one better. And I should have weeded out all of the low ones. Like this guy here, this girl here. I should have not ever put her in the breeding line. But it is what it is. I'm just doing this uh, to show you how it's done. I actually got a lot of them that are low end. That's weird. I don't know how I got so many. <sighs> so yes, uh, in your case, you may want to just breed through them until you only get the single stats that you're looking for. But in my case, I just did it super quickly so that I could get this video up and running. I'm throwing the wrong thing down. Yep, see, that's what happens when you don't pay attention. <laughs> there we go. Ten more eggs. We'll wait it out here for just a second. And we'll hope that this works. If not, I'll do a couple extra breedings without you guys watching just to get the stats that I'm looking for to show you the next step because the next step is quite important. So I want to get us there, if at all possible. There we go. She's a lot of 12s, a lot of really crappy. There's a 39. <laughs> oh, man. This could not have been better. All right, let's find him. Could be a guy, could be a girl, don't know. Uh, come on. Oh, 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 was that it? Yep, there it is. Perfect. All right, so... The rest, I think, are going to be junk, but I'll just make sure that there were no other 39s in there that I missed. Not that it matters, but okay, cool. So I'm going to go junk these really fast, just so that I have uh, what I'm looking for here. Easier to find. Get my girl out. She's going to be useless here soon, but alright. So, a couple others. You know what? I'm not worried about you. You can stay there. Alright, so... This gives me a girl. Now, the problem is, is I need this to be male. Uh, if your server does not have the ability to make them male like mine does, then you're kind of out of luck. But in this case, I'm going to gender swap it. This is what it's called. Gender potion here. Gender change potion, whatever, from Crazy's Potions. So now we've got a male. So Carl, I'm sorry. Uh, those are all the puppies that you're going to get. Goodbye, Carl. Carl's gone. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I gave him some on accident. The male never needs these love potions but okay so now we've got the new alpha male here that we're gonna put in the middle of all the ladies and let's find it again there you go 39 so boom throw him down and now what I would do personally just so that it happens at the same time I go into options and I turn my mating off I go through and I feed them all the love potions so that they're ready to mate again all ten of them. And I'll do that now. Just to show you what it looks like. Yep, this is boring. Sorry, guys. This is what you're going to be doing for hours. Possibly days if your server settings are different than ours. Perfect. They're all ready to go again. And now we restart it. Newborn auto trap. And we hit mating on. Now, you can turn visible off. You don't have to leave it on. I'm just leaving it on right now. So, perfect. They're all mating again. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for them to get up to that 80-ish percent, 75, 80, 85 percent mark. And I'm going to go ahead and hit five of these guys in a row and start rebreeding them. Now, the key is clean females. If you look in here, you see the ancestors. You look up here and it says random mutations on the male side are zero. Random mutations on the female side, patrilineal side, whatever, are zero. Now, um, if you look at our new breeder over here, you're going to see in our show ancestors that random mutations on this side are one, which doesn't matter. One on the other side as well, which doesn't matter. What matters is 
on this side for the ladies, they always stay at zero. So these are what we are what we call clean females. The clean females will clean out all of the male side uh, mutations and will give you new babies that are one stat clean potentially and will only have mutations on one side because if you hit 20 mutations on both sides you will be unable to mutate ever again so you do this with a dirty male and a bunch of clean females uh, you know, I hear that's how it is in real life too right <laughs> just kidding uh, completely sexist but I'm just completely joking but anyways so you're going into here you wait for it to go back up to the 80% area like I said give or take uh, you know whatever 81 82 something like that and you hit all five assuming the lag goes away yeah there we go Jeez. same thing here that's only four there's my fifth gonna go ahead and get those mutations going boom and they're gonna start it all over again so that is the process I'm not worried about doing it I guess but I'll explain it while I uh, finish this breeding session so basically speaking guys the process is you're gonna go through and you're gonna find you know 10 females at least that's my opinion minimum and surround the male around the sole terminal you're going to make sure that the fertilized egg collection and fertilized egg incubation are both turned on. You're going to go into uh, your auto section for babies, and you're going to make sure that that is turned on, and you're going to want to adjust the distance, I would guess, to about 5 to 7. It doesn't really need to be that large, so you don't take a chance at you know, getting a bunch of other things you don't want to have mating or breeding inside of it and getting their eggs because you don't care about them. After that, you're going to go ahead and start the breeding process by turning it on inside the sole terminal. You're going to go through and you're going to breed at least three times. You should have about 30 eggs. Uh, sometimes if you're doing larger dinos, you can't do 30. You're going to probably get you know, 25, 26, whatever you can fit in a small area. And you're going to keep rebreeding them. You're going to hatch them. After they're hatched, you're going to look for the single stat that you want to have upgraded. In this case, we did health. Once it, you see that stat is upgraded by 10 points, you're going to replace the male only. The females will remain at base level at all times. You will never replace the females outside of the beginning, which I should have done, which is making sure that all 10 of them have the same stats. In this case, as you can see, this female has 29 health and 25 damage. This female here is a crappier version with 12 health and 15, or 14 damage, which I should have never done but I was trying to rush it to get this done. So make sure that they all have the same stats, which makes it a lot easier to iterate through them and figure out which ones have the bonus from the mutation. And every time you do it, especially if you're on our server, you're just going to gender change them and change out the male. Otherwise, if your server doesn't allow for gender changing, the only one that you can look for is the male, and you're going to junk all the females because, in this case, they are useless for the purpose of what we are trying to do. Obviously, in real life, you would never junk your females because we love our females. They're beautiful, they're wonderful, and we love them to death. So, guys, I really hope that this was helpful. If you guys have any other questions, please feel free to let me know. I know this can be kind of confusing, uh, but basically speaking... Each side will only do one type of breeding. So the other side that I didn't touch on to make things less confusing for you guys, I would only do the melee stat if I was going to do that. Now, I'm not going to do that, but if I was, the reason I set it up was to show you that I have two equal sides to breed on. Ten over there, ten over here. All I'm doing is one side is going to be health. The other side is going to be melee. Now, at the very, very end, when you have... Uh, 254, 253, 252, whatever you decide to get to for stats on each side. All you're going to do is take uh, one male and one female from each side. You're going to breed them together as many times as it takes to have the babies have both stats. You're going to end up having 254, 2, 3, whatever the case is on one side and on the other. Breed them and you're going to get that on the babies. Once the babies have that, you can begin breeding the babies, and you have a 100% chance of the babies having 252 or 3 or 4 stats on each side, and then that's called a 2 stat. So you 1 stat one side, you 1 stat the other, health, damage. You put them together to get a 2 stat for both health 
and damage. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I just want to make sure that we are clear that that is how it is done. Uh, what I might do is take out some of my one stats really quick here and just show you how it's done. As a matter of fact, that's probably what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pop out of here. I'm going to get rid of these guys for us, and I'm going to show us how to two stat from one stats from some other dinos. So uh, I'm going to do that now. So as promised, just a quick show. So as you can see here, this guy has 251 health and his base melee. This girl here has 254 melee, but base health. Basically, all that we're going to do is mate them together. And I'm not going to waste your guys' time, but once these two come together, they're going to end up getting right here. As you can see, my... Main Dynamic is here, 254 melee and then 251 health, which is the same as this guy and this girl. Because when you breed them together, generally speaking, you're going to get these two stats. Now, you might get it where you're going to get one stat or the other. That's fine. Rebreed them. Keep going until you get two stats. Once you get two of these, then all you do is you keep breeding the two stats together and you will 100% of the time get the babies to have both stats. So I think that concludes breeding. Uh, that's basically it. That's the pattern. That's how it's done. Uh, like I said, I really hope that I was going to help anybody here, and I hope I explained it well enough. If this video doesn't do well or people have too many questions, I may remake the video and get rid of this one. But hopefully I explained it enough that you guys can understand and move forward with your breeding. So if you do have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them in the comments section. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Carl, <laughs> you, uh, you really did it there, buddy. Uh, one for every like, subscribe, comment, and share. Oh, and there's there's another one. There's another one hatching right now. I I really have no idea how I'm gonna feed all these mouths. Hey guys, I, I know you can't see it, but, but there's more. Stop stop with the comments, subscribes, shares, likes. Just just stop it. He's he, he's making. I don't even know how he's doing it. He's making more. There's the, the girls. The girls over there. That they're, they're, they're still going. Guys, it, it this needs to stop. <laughs> Jesus, I'm I'm gonna be broke.